Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to finish the job in Rafah. Speaking at a pro-Israeli conference in Washington, he added that Israel would take steps to secure the safety of civilians. Netanyahu faces increasing international pressure from world leaders who are starting to criticize his military campaign in Gaza. Meanwhile, strikes across Gaza killed at least 10 people overnight, according to local Wafa news agency. About a quarter of Gaza's population is currently on the brink of starvation. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that the United Kingdom was doing what it could to bring aid into Gaza. He called on Israel to open the port of Ashdod to allow a maritime corridor of aid into Gaza. The U.S. Air Force have also announced another airdrop of aid into Gaza, including 16 bundles of food. The U.N. have said Gaza is in desperate need of aid and have called on Israel to allow U.N. workers visas in order to distribute supplies.